Hey guys, Infinity here, and it is 1216 in the Pacific on March 24th, 2020. I hope you're all doing well and staying inside and staying safe. Gonna warn ya, my birdie's been talking lots. <laughs> uh, I hope you've been staying safe. I hope you've been healthy. I hope you can get the things that you need. I hope that you're not stressing too much. Uh, it is a very trying time, a very frustrating time for everybody on different levels. Everybody is in this same thing together. It's just going bigger and uh, more happenings are going on in the world as far as shutdowns and cancellations. I think that we finally got confirmation that the Olympics is being called off which should really be a good indication to the entire planet about the seriousness of this and the longevity of the problem. Uh, it's March, and I believe that typically the Olympics don't start till June. So they're anticipating, they see this going long, a long time, and this is how I've seen it. This is what I've seen. We have at least three months of very intense uh, chain reactions of spikes going on because it is so easily contagious and people are so asymptomatic and it's going to continue to go. And that's why we need to slow it down by keeping people inside and not commingling and not getting each other sick. It can be almost nothing as far as what you deal with or symptoms uh, or barely anything to killing you. And there isn't a huge jump and there isn't a whole lot of discrimination. I think that they're finally understanding on it. More and more people are finally understanding as more and more people who are younger are getting really sick and are requiring hospitalization because if they didn't have that, they would die. And uh, it's unfortunate that, you know, it has to come to that for people to understand. But, it, you know, just a week ago, oh, it's only old people, only old people, only old people and the really sick people. Well, that's not true. It's not only old people. It's not only sick people. It's everybody and anybody children have gotten this babies have gotten this um people that are that are otherwise you could say don't have a health history aren't on chronic medication don't have a chronic illness or disease aren't in that category of highly susceptible uh or in the what's it called uh the bracket of uh the most, you know, the people that are most ill that can get this, that we go, oh, that's definitely a person that can get it. Like somebody who's, who is or has battled cancer are very susceptible because their immune systems, especially if they're already on chemo or, or have done radiation. Uh, I mean, that's just, I mean, you're putting poison in your body, you're breaking down your immune system. So it doesn't, behave normally. And so when you get this insane contagion, it's, it's going to be a problem. Um, but people with like cystic fibrosis, very, very dangerous for people with cystic fibrosis, any kind of upper respiratory issues, anybody who have has smoked and they um, still smoke and they haven't stopped smoking and they haven't been stopped in smoking for at least six months to let your lungs recover are going to have more problems. So the more you smoke, if you're a daily smoker, uh, that's definite, you're more susceptible. Uh, if you are in bigger, like, uh, city populations versus maybe out in the country, you're more susceptible. Just so there's more pollutants in the air that you deal with. So you all, so you're already run down there, not to mention chemtrails. That is new information that came to me a couple days ago that chemtrails are definitely an issue when it comes to, when it comes to uh, our upper respiratory health, our lung health, we've been breathing in these chemicals um, from 
from chemtrails for years and years now and it is causing us a problem when we have such an aggressive uh, virus that just loves to wreak havoc on in our lungs and cause us to get pneumonia real real quick and it is just once it once it hops skips and jumps past bronchitis it's like sick cough pneumonia if it's going to be pneumonia it's really quick it, it seems like with people it's really quick depending on how how healthy or ill you were before it depends also on the on how quick this whole thing moves it's kind of like an accordion it can spread out or it can be a little faster but we we do know that the you are asymptomatic with um without symptoms for up to 10 days that's a long time. The first, in case you haven't heard, um, the first couple of symptoms that you may feel or see in somebody else are red eyes that has come out where people have like really red eyes. They look like uh, they've had, they have allergies really bad and loss of taste and smell. Even if you get something like right up on your, on your, on your smeller, um, that is a problem. So that that could be first few signs of telling you that you may have that like you like yeah like I'm sticky I have my nose in my rose thing here my rose water spray and I can smell it uh what I've heard and what I've read about with people that have this and have this problem is that they they can stick their face right up into their perfume or cologne and they don't smell anything so that's a problem and that's something that comes up before you have other symptoms. So if you're noticing or you taste or you don't can't taste stuff, you're having a problem tasting. So your sense of smell and sense of taste definitely diminish if you've been infected with coronavirus. Something to look for. Okay, so something that we are going to discuss here is uh, sleep and dreaming at this time. Information has come to me that people are having a hard time dreaming or sleeping, that dreams are more intense. They're, they could be uh, very um, like nightmares or, or night terrors. They could just be, oh, excuse me unpleasant dreams, confusing dreams, uh, dreams in which things are, are stressful or you wake up, uh, not rested and, and all that stuff. So this is really common, especially right now, because there's so much fear going on. So when there's just like the energy of fear in the collective, the vibration's just going to be lower. And especially when people are, there's just so much uncertainty and so much confusion and so much fear on different levels about, uh, about what's going on. Uh, hold on. Okay. Sorry about that. So, so dream time, sleep time can be more frustrating and it's in its own right just because you're having because there's too much fear going on in the collective yawning all of a sudden <laughs> sorry I didn't sleep very much last night uh a lot of fears going on in the collective within ourselves and this can disrupt sleep especially if we're worried if we're concerned about we're stressed about stuff that's going on maybe you have people that are sick or we don't know if they're really sick or they are sick or you know it could be all sorts of stuff that's going on that's stressing people out and and we really need uh more restful sleep more positive sleep not sleep that is distressful or stressful uh so i've just been getting a lot of messages from my guides telling me that that a lot of people are experiencing experiencing this right now obviously in the collective when we're awake and we're conscious we know that most people are frustrated and and uh stressed out about the situation what's going on we we don't know what's going to happen we don't know how things are going to 
evolve and when there's so much uncertainty there's a lot of fear because so many people are out of control and being out of control puts us into a space where we feel very very uh threatened and when we feel threatened we're in fear and so this whole thing kind of goes even though we know like okay well nobody's going to come and take over my house and I can control like what's going on here and what I eat and what I what I put in reserve and who I come in contact with and what I do and where I go you know you do have control but but a lot of people just go way past there and they go I can't do this I can't do that I don't have this I don't have that oh my god the world is falling apart this is all you know blah and then they go off on these tangents that make things really bad. It makes their, it it lowers your immune system. So the more you stress, the more you're frustrated, the more you're, uh, uh, freaked out and, and challenged and threatened about the future and about how this is all going to evolve, the harder it's going to be for you because, and the easier it's going to be for you to get sick and your immune system will be compromised, whether it's just a cold or a flu and not the coronavirus, just in general, um, you could get more headaches, have digestive problems, have, um, back and neck issues because of this, just all of our different energy centers, uh, are going to start to activate and do different things to try to help us out. But when one has to overcompensate for the other, you're not in balance and you're not in optimal flow with your life force energy. So please take into account the situation with your life force energy, what you're doing to keep that high, what you're doing to keep your vibe high. If you are tapping in with, with news and keeping abreast of all that stuff, kind of dip in and dip out. Don't make it your like 24 hour a day deal. Some people, they just can't get out of that. And they're just going to stay in that. Like, this is what I'm doing. I'm watching the news. I'm watching YouTube. I'm watching Twitter. I'm watching Facebook. I'm watching, you know, you just kind of go from one thing to another to, to another. And you can do that, but just kind of set time apart. A, a, like apart from the rest of the stuff in your world to check in and not have it be your everything. Okay. So to help you with the whole sleep thing, uh, before you go to sleep at night, before you lay down to go to sleep, a good thing to do would be to get nice and comfy And I am going to do, and I've said it before, and I was been waiting to do these meditations for sleep, especially sleep and, and, and wake. And I, I mentioned this a while ago that I was going to start doing meditations. And the reason why I haven't is because I've wanted better sound, better equipment. And it seems like everything has come in to kind of make the certain things difficult. Um, so I'm not going to get into that. But anyway, that's been my my holdup and why I haven't done meditations. I just wanted it. I wanted to be in a place that was quiet where my bird wouldn't do this or my cats wouldn't start, you know, running around or, or, you know, there wasn't, you know, just bad sound. I wanted really nice sound for meditations. But, uh, you know, it is what it is right now. So uh, I will be posting a meditation for sleep. But in the meantime, I want you guys to think about before you go to sleep at night, you're laying there in bed to uh, just think about every, from head to toe, just think about your feet, think about your knees and your hips and your back and your neck and your head and your hands and your feet. Just go there Think about your your body as you're laying there and tell your body that when you go to sleep, once you, you're going to relax, you're going to start to fade into sleep. Once you're asleep, you're going to heal your body. You're going to allow your guides and guardians to come in. You're going to go into higher planes of of awareness. You're going to connect with your soul. You're going to get information. And when you wake up, you're going to be rested. You're going to have, you're going to be, you're going to have been into higher dimensions. You're not going to be taken down into lower dimensions. So once, let me just explain this real quick. Once you go to sleep, your consciousness floats out of of awake consciousness to 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 sleep consciousness to to the susceptibility of energies that you're not in control of so we're very vulnerable in our sleep 
And this is also why a lot of people have a hard time sleeping and they wake up a lot because they're kind of, they're tapping into lower frequencies. They're, they're in a more disturbed state in their sleep. Their, their dreams are really chaotic. Bad things are always happening. This used to happen to me years and years ago. And I have talked about this and I didn't understand it at the time, but I was basically being attacked in my sleep by negative energy that was all, you know, trying to keep my vibration from going from my consciousness in astral from going higher to connecting with the higher dimensions and the higher beings that that I could connect to. So it's like as soon as I would like fall asleep and get into that space of of lifting out a body and going into to an astral state, I would be pulled into a lower vibration. And and then it would feel like not a dream, it would feel like it's real. And that's what's called a night terror, where everything feels very real. Nothing is crazy or weird or floaty or, you know, it's not like you can spot things in your dream and go, oh, this isn't real. It feels very real. And then things just get very dark and twisted as far as, you know, what happens with people, what they're saying or circumstances. And it just gets worse and worse and worse until you realize something is off and you go, oh, wait a second, this isn't a dream. Or this is a dream. This isn't real. And then sometimes you can wake yourself up from that or you wake up from that and you may not remember, but you're just uneasy and tired and you don't feel rested at all. Uh, A lot of people have this problem and they don't know, they don't remember their dreams and that they're crazy and, and, and negative. They're having negatively charged dreams. They just wake up very tired. And that's because the body, the energy body, it wasn't getting rejuvenated. It wasn't um, banking life force energy. It wasn't uh, helping really. I mean, you were shut down, but you were on the whole time because you were in flight or fight, flight or fight mode in your dream time. So it's super exhausting. It's really tired to be sleeping in that state of mind and that fear state of mind or, or, and especially what's going on now. And because this is like, this is literally a pandemic of, of an issue with people. Sleep has not been good for people in these last, um, depending on where you are in the world in these last few months or weeks. So it's something that we really have to think about having good proper sleep and enough of it and sleep when you can, especially now that we're home, most of us. And for those of you that are essential workers, uh, again, thank you so much for doing what you do, bringing us the stuff that we need or being in hospitals or being at gas stations or pharmacies and grocery stores and, and healthcare workers and transportation and shipping and and warehouses that are trying to get us the stuff that we need. So I just want to send out a really big, warm love hug, soul hug, and thank you to any of those people, any and all of those people that are that are going out there and are on the front lines and putting themselves at risk for something really, really dangerous. And, and I do, I, I'm very grateful and I appreciate it very, very much. Um, especially, and I always have just given my circumstances of where I live. I don't, it's not easy for me to get to stuff. I'm in a remote place kind of. And, and, uh, and so I, I rely on, on that for my everyday life before this happened. And now even more so because you can't just go to the store because a lot of stores don't have stuff. And so again, that's another point of being stressed out and that what can worry us, especially if we have children and families that we're taking care of and we can't get the things that we need. You know, it's just funny how it's like, oh, how are we going to pay for stuff? Well, how can you, we, where are this, where's the stuff to pay for? You know, it's like we need to, it's interesting. And so all of these things are, are part of that. But anyway, uh, it's really important to keep our immune systems up, keep our, our sleep as, uh, what's the word? Um, <laughs> trying to think of the word as beneficial to our system as possible. Uh, oh, and that's what I was saying before. If you're at home and if you get tired and if you need to sleep, then sleep. A lot of us at this time, we're not sleeping in big chunks of time. I think maybe five hours max. Uh, and then the body is, is, and then we wake up. Uh, 
And then if you're fighting something, you may be sleeping longer. But we want to make sure we're getting really good rejuvenative sleep, that we're uh, packing in energy in our life force battery as we sleep, that we're not getting pulled into lower densities and dimensions and, and entities messing with us in our sleep, being under psychic attack, which is absolutely a thing. If you've never heard of it, Google it, psychic attack in your sleep, please. Um, please go ahead and do another round of sage and palo santo in your house uh, i'm gonna take today is the new moon oh i forgot to say that to everybody happy new moon 20 minutes and two seconds in happy new moon you guys today is our new moon so it's a great day to do some some real uh deep meditation on 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 putting forth energies into the world that are going to feel really good. Like I said, I'm going to do a meditation. I'm going to do it later. I'm going to go do my own private meditation here in a little bit. And then I am going to come out um, a little bit later with a meditation for everybody. But in the meantime, I just want you guys to ruminate. Think about this stuff. Think about your sleep. Think about how it's been. If you've had great sleep and you're waking up feeling fantastic and energized and rejuvenated, great. Just think more on how you want to do more of that. How you, when you go to sleep, whether it's nap time, whether it's nighttime sleep, that you are going to have um, beautiful, restful, connected spiritually, going into higher dimensions with your, um, in your sleep and dream states. You can connect to your spirit guides and guardians, that your body will be protected, that you'll be working on healing, uh, and just have, just think, about having that idea uh, when it comes to sleeping from this point forward and and you can also very much decide on uh, where you want to go, what you want to do, who you want to connect to with uh, in your sleep and in your astral. So we've done this before. We talked about uh, doing specific different practices to connect to Jesus or to connect to uh, your your specific um, guardian angel or angels. And so you can do that. And so it's just, it's just about being intentional. We've also had the practice where we are working and you can do this with any, any, any archangel or any angelic that you feel uh, very connected to that you work with, you want to bring into your space before you go to sleep at night, you can ask them to be with you and to, uh, and to guard your space, your body, your home while you sleep and to offer you more uh, or to give you healing energy and to stand over you and just give you healing energy while you sleep. You can ask to meet with uh, Jesus in your sleep and you can meet with Jesus in your sleep. You can ask to meet with your own soul self in your sleep. You can ask to meet with your just your whole tribe of guides and guardians. You can ask to meet with uh, your loved ones who may have crossed over and we have a lot of loved ones that have and are and will be crossing over in this time period with this coronavirus and so they're just right there on the other side they want to speak with us they want to communicate with us they have messages for us it's up to us to go there it's up to us to understand that we it's within our power and our ability whether you're a psychic or a medium or not to tell yourself, to tell your guides, to tell those souls that you are connected with that you want to connect, that you're open to connecting, that even though you may miss them and you love them and you want to feel them and, and be with them, you may not remember everything that, that happens in the dream. You may have to do it a few times, but the more you do it, the more you open up, the more you decide, I want this to happen. Whether it's in your sleep or your wake time, I want this to happen. It will happen, but you have to have the intention to make it happen. So there's a lot that can be done in our sleep, in our in our astral state, and um, through meditation, through intent. And I've been working in this in this way in this realm for a long time. I've been understanding how this works. When I used to talk on the phone with people. And, and we would connect psychically and, and, and we could literally make and be and do what we wanted to do 
We can do that in our meditations. And I've done that in guided meditations where I've taken people through that live or or, or pre-recorded. So all of that is possible. And uh, you just, again, you just have to decide that it is. You have to put forth the intention to do it. Also something to keep in mind at this time, it's a bad idea to be drinking alcohol, even though I think there are probably more people like, let's booze it up. We're at home and stuff. But alcohol does lower your immune system. It is a poison for your body to process. So please, please, please try not to uh, drink alcohol uh, it's just bad for you. And we need to keep our immune systems high. So we're trying to keep our immune systems high when we're just doing the normal activities. And that's why we're all staying away from each other. We want to make our sleep time uh, more productive. That was a word I was trying to think of earlier. More productive. We want a productive sleep cycle. We on, on every level, we want to rejuvenate our body. We want to connect spiritually. We want to get the information that we need to get. That's when we get a lot of our information for our daily life is when we power down, shut off the brain, shut off the eyeballs, shut off the, the emotions. We power down. Our body goes into a, our body shuts itself down. It's just working on the 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 mechanisms of our of the system which is our organs working and all of that it's still digesting it's still processing things but we are not in control of what our body is doing our our souls our consciousness lift up and are tethered still to our to our physical body but we go up into um into this this higher space and dimension and 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 consciousness with using our third eye, using our, and the more that you meditate, the more that you've all been working on healing and clearing and being, uh, and being in best flow, being in, in your best balance as you can possibly be is definitely going to make this whole process easier when we, when it comes to, uh, controlling your dream state. And once you, once you drop into dream state, you're boom, you can just lift up and go into, like I said, you can decide what you want to do, where you want to go, who you want to, who you want to, uh, have time and space with and connect you in your dream state. Again, you probably won't remember a whole lot of it. You'll just wake up with a certain feeling, certain ideas, certain understandings of stuff. You might wake up just really super happy and energized, feeling really good and blissful. You may even wake up feeling a little melancholy depending on what goes on. But the fact of the matter is, is that you can go and do things in your sleep and dream state that you probably just figure, well, it's all random and I'm just going to sleep and it's, you know, and it's not, it's not random. You can control it. You just have to have intention about that. And it's just really important right now, really important right now to be conscious of your dream state, be conscious of your, of your life force battery on every level, uh, wherever you are consciously or subconsciously awake or asleep, uh, anywhere that you are is where your energy is and, and what's being affected or what can affect your energy. So if you're going to sleep and you're having really stressful dreams and you're not getting rest, you're not building on your life force energy, you're not connecting with your soul and your guides and guardians that can help you uh, in your wake state, then you're behind, you're behind. And, uh, and the more that happens, the more run down you get the the harder it is to think and to and to digest and to feel good and to have a a good level head and not to be reactive but to be uh to to be mindful to not be stressed out to not be in fear all of those things it's all very much connected so you guys, I think that's about it that I want to talk to you about now. I want you to to put into your mind, please stay positive. Please understand that that there are a lot of things that you can control and and what your focus is and what you're doing and there are a lot of things that sure you can't control, but it's always been like that. It's always been like that. And and we're all dealing with the same thing. 
uh, the people in our government in the U.S. and around the world are doing the best they can. They're only people too. Everybody feels and sees things differently. Unfortunately, we do have a lot of denial still going on about this really intensely uh, dramatic situation when it comes to just how bad it can get and how fast it can get and and there's this impatience to move it along and get things back to normal where we're we're far from it like i was saying before and like i got information a few days ago when we had the equinox and i did a, the reading back then was that it looks like we're not going to have a real plateau in things for normalcy until around the middle of june i believe it's the 21st when we have our eclipse in June and and that is the time period that I was shown with this so it's just not something that anybody wants to to deal with to look at oh we're looking at months well yeah we already said and we already know at this point like they're shutting stuff down like no school for the rest of the year no olympics we're postponing everything that uh more and more countries are closing down and shutting down their borders there's places that are like you can't even leave your house except for very strict rules because they're it's that intense and the whole world is under this pressure and nobody wants to really look at like how far is this gonna go in reality and who's all you know gonna be affected and what's gonna happen to our daily life like yeah that was then this is now we have to see things differently and and not be in resistance not just understand not you know try to be as as positive as in flow have at least amount of resistance be as be as as positive as you can in the sense of of yes there's a lot of change yes we don't have the things that we the way of life that we did just a little bit ago there's a lot of people that are getting sick it's projected that more people are going to get sick be part of the solution not the problem stay positive in your in your thinking about how things are going to go we all we have and known about a shift and a, a shift in our consciousness for the collective for humanity for a long time. We've known that this was coming. Well, maybe not everybody, but those of us in the know, those of us in the spiritual community have been talking about this for a long time now. And we knew that in 2020 we we're gonna see major shifts coming. And I'll again, I don't think any of us saw it happening like this and it it would be this but at the same time it does make a lot of sense what is going on now as we're shifting into a higher dimensions we're shifting into unity consciousness we have to be united on a global level and what else unites everybody on a global level than an illness that is that is so pervasive and so contagious and and very deadly to people that you know the ones that we know that that are susceptible and even those that we could go never in a million years would they get it and be fighting for the life and we've seen this happen we've heard of this before and there's more and more cases of this coming up so so we just have to understand that what reality is be be optimistically realistic understand that we need to think positively we need to see that that all of these things are happening for a reason that uh this is going to unify the collective in the way that they think about a lot of things this is going to point out a lot of ineptitude and a lot of holes in the system how we how where we make things how we deal with things what the chain of command is what the protocols are what we do with our money and how much money people have where we're you know just so much stuff i mean it's just it's just a lot of stuff but for now we're we're in a long pause reset and there's different levels of things going on so on one hand things are moving really fast on the other hand things are very slow and we can plug into these different ways of thinking as information is coming in about what's going on in our country and around the world as the numbers grow as things start to stabilize in different places but 
it's going to be several months before it makes its way through the ebbs and flows of moving it around uh, or of the virus moving around just in our own in our own country, we're going to see how this is, how this is going to go. And, uh, it's just really important to, to watch with a certain level of detachment while keeping your fear energy, your frustration and, and confused energy and, and the, the asking of when is this going to happen? How long is this going to be? And how are we going to do this? And da, 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 da. Just know that it will work out. And the least amount of people or the less amount of people that we have panicking and in fear and running around and doing crazy shit, (laughs) the better it's going to be for all of us. So I've been preaching, meditate, take care of yourself, do art, create, Um, listen to podcasts that maybe you haven't listened to if you're, if you're in that space and that sounds good. Maybe rewatch old movies that you haven't watched before if you can. Um, play music, dance, uh, just do the things that you haven't or don't or had the, haven't had the time to do. If you have a family with you, connect with them, uh, come up with, with fun and interesting things. This is another thing I was thinking too, is that there's a shit ton of do it yourself things that I know a lot of people are like, yeah, I'd like to try that, but I don't have the time for that. I have a whole life going on and we only have a limited amount of downtime in our world between especially if you have kids. So if you have kids, you have schedules, you have work, you have all sorts of stuff and there's just so much time to sit down and do arts and crafts and try these do-it-yourself things. But maybe now's the time to do that, to do these things that we haven't done before. Think out of the box. Uh, It's really a time to just kind of let things go, rein things in, look around your environment. It's a great time to clean uh, I've been cleaning a lot and rearranging things and just, and just, it, that feels really good. It's great for your environment. It's great for your energy to do all that stuff too. Uh, it feels really good. It moves the energy. You want to move energy, keep energy moving in your home, open up windows when you can. Again, like I said, with the, uh, the sage and the palo santo essential oils take long baths and showers communicate with your spirit guides um eat as well as you possibly can again sleep when you're being called to sleep and be mindful and intentional about your sleep decide you're going to get good restorative productive sleep you're going to connect in the ways that you're being guided to connect uh and until uh, next time, I'm going to bid you adieu because I'm going to get on with my day. But I hope, again, you guys are doing really, really well. Keep it light and positive. And I will be back shortly with a meditation to help you guys um, get to sleep and get into that higher place as soon as I possibly can, okay? I love you very much. Infinite love and blessings. Don't forget, the key is to create. And I love you already. Always live in love. Bye, guys.